What's up, you guys? Let's read some really quick energy. Oh, God, that's so fucking bright. My happy light on. Um, and then I have to go outside and I have to feed cats. But there's something, um, there's a message coming through about somebody who's not fawning anymore. Or somebody who used to fawn. High Priestess in the reverse position. Somebody who used to fawn. So for, you, for those of you guys who don't know, fawning is a, a type of trauma response. Um, it can also be considered people-pleasing. So whenever you've been, um, sometimes when people are traumatized, oftentimes there's a fight, flight, fight, flight, fawn response, okay? The, the two really popular ones are fight and flight, but there's actually, yeah, there's a fawning response too. So somebody's not doing that anymore, or somebody used to do that, or somebody has stopped doing that. There's something about somebody who would come into your life, somebody who, so you cut some, somebody cut somebody off, okay? I feel like this is, yeah. It could be a family member, it could be um, whatever. Uh, just take what resonates and we'll pull some cards. But um, it's like whenever this person would come into your life, there's something traumatic that happened between the two of you. It could have even been a friend. Um, but something about whenever they would come into your life, it would, it would trigger this fawning response that would kind of almost make you people please, which would make you do, or make somebody make like bad decisions for themselves. Because when we're fawning, we are kind of caught in a space of, like, we're trying to survive, really. And we're trying to, um, it's a form of, like, manipulation, sort of, really. It is, it's kind of like a possum playing dead. That's what Spirit's showing me in my head right now. It's kind of like a possum playing dead. Um, you know, like, possums, they kind of have, like, that trauma response when, like, a predator or something, or if they're scared, they play dead so that um, the predator will, uh, uh, like, walk away. What else, spirit, ancestors of the highest white light? So it's like somebody's not playing dead anymore. Somebody's not fawning anymore. Maybe somebody was fawning to try to trick somebody into thinking that they were vulnerable. Okay, this is an interesting message now. What else, spirit? Jesus. Okay, sorry, guys. I mean, sorry, God. Um, I mean, praise Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so we have somebody who's a homebody. We've got somebody who's not very materialistic at all. Somebody who's a homebody. Somebody who spends a lot of time thinking, um, holding themselves accountable. Make sure that you are not creating too much conflict in your mind by holding yourself accountable, though. Um, with the five of wands in the reverse position, because it's kind of like, I feel like somebody's a little too hard on themselves. Probably because somebody f from their past was hard on themselves. Probably a parental figure. That's usually how it starts. You know, and then that kind of builds the... Um, Unfortunately, then that kind of builds. It, it really is up to our parents to uncondition themselves. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to not get Nina's tail in my eyeball because that has happened so many times. Um, good girl. It really is. The, it really is. It really is our parents' responsibility and or if you want to be a parent, it really is a parent's responsibility to make sure that they have conditioned reprogrammed themselves. I mean, I can't talk while I'm petting you. Okay. It is, it is a parent's, our parents should have broken generational curses before they had children. That's what I'm going to say. I don't know how else to fucking say that, but that's really the way that it should be. People should be breaking generational curses and then they have children as opposed to people just like have, I'm, and that might even just be a personal opinion because that's kind of the way that it's coming out. The way that it was being channeled was not the way that it was going to come out, but that's the way that I am going to say it. So, um, with that being said, when we have parents who don't do that, because we do live in a culture that does not necessarily, um, we live in a consumeristic culture where, you know, it's like perfection is, everybody's trying to reach perfection and, and everybody's competing, competing with everybody else. It's capitalism. It's the nature of the beast. So it is very difficult for this to happen for parents too. Like, I mean, they get caught in the... They get caught in the matrix, right? The system, I'm hearing a system of a down. Yeah, it is a system of a fucking down. Okay? Um, so, it sounds like somebody has has broken the cycle for, 
for their family. Okay, what else? Spirit ancestors of highest white light. Somebody, okay, so somebody's not materialistic. There's a third party that might be coming in. It might be an air sign, like a young air sign. Somebody's, it, 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 this person is materialistic. There, But there's a third, okay, what is this third party? Some sort of divine justice. Okay, what else, Spirit? I need now. Ancestors of the Highest White Light. What is the message? Baby, I can't shuffle the cards when I pet you. Sorry, you guys. What else, Spirit? Ancestors of the Highest White Light. Nina, you're so cute and beautiful. I'm going to spend all my time with you. I know, i got to go outside. i got to feed these cats before it starts to rain. We're supposed to get a big storm today. I've got some cats out there waiting for me. I cooked a 12-pound turkey. We've been having turkey sandwiches. Um, Queen of Wands, we've got a fire sign here. It could be uh, Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay, somebody's a homebody. Somebody is a homebody. Somebody's not materialistic. And somebody is... Um, really starting to take accountability for themselves, breaking karmic cycles, uh, healing generational um, curses, uh, calling upon divine justice where it needs to be called upon. Um, I feel like whoever you are too, you, you know, it's like you've come to um, interest. This isn't interesting. This is very interesting. This is what spirit's telling me to choose the fawning response as opposed to fight or flight is actually really, um, is really uh, integrated. Integrated is not the word that I was going to try. Was trying to use. It's so fucking weird, you guys. When I channel, there are words that I cannot think of that I can think of when I am like in my human state. I don't know how to even fucking say it. But like, um, it's very evolved. Okay, that's actually very evolved. Is what spirit is saying because the fight or flight, fight, fight creates a karmic attachment. Flight can also create an. Well, flight doesn't necessarily fight. <laughs> Okay, what am I hearing, ancestors? What is the message? Okay, so whoever you are, if you're fawning response, don't feel bad about fawning, okay? If you had a fawning trauma response, don't feel bad about it, okay? There's something about fighting. It just, it. what I'm seeing is, I am seeing, okay? It's very hard to explain. Um, is that I am seeing somebody um, who chose... I'm, okay, now I'm seeing somebody who came down from the fucking stars, whatever. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. Okay, this is how the image is coming into my head, all right? And so I'm just going to have to explain it how I need to explain it because cats. Um, and uh, water coming from the skies, uh, you know, and thunder, electricity coming from the skies, stuff like that. Okay, so fawning. Um, fawning is actually a great, is an, is an excellent selection with regards to if you were to choose a trauma response because it is... It is a way of taking accountability, but also taking accountability from a very humbled standpoint. And maybe that's what this is. Somebody is not materialistic and somebody is very much so taking accountability. This is very much so like hermit energy to me is, is the way that I feel. It's kind of like somebody is very observant. Maybe somebody has been. So maybe while you were fawning, you knew exactly what the fuck you were doing. Okay. Somebody has um, some duality I mean, with the justice card here. And, um, this, you know, the scales, it's like somebody is very strong with regards to their duality or they're very oh, well integrated. Their duality is integrated rather. Um, oh my God, you guys, the messages are coming out really fucking weird. Um, but running away, what I'm hearing is, is if, if, if this was your message, if you were to have run away, running away would have been avoiding the situation. Um, in this particular situation, if this is your reading, um, if you would have fought, that would have been the wrong thing to do as well, because that would have just created more conflict. What I'm seeing is, is, is like a light because what I'm, what I'm understanding is, is that it's a light frequency. Okay. So if you would have, uh, it's, I'm seeing like a bull like charging in. I don't know. It's like, but it's like with, with like light shoes. <laughs> I don't know. It's, but it's like, um, it's like if you would have fought, I'm seeing like a bright red chaotic 
circle of light that would have been manifested into whatever space that you were in. And this light grows if you would have fought, okay? Um, like I said, if, if you would have ran, it, it would have created a some sort of, um, there may have been some work that you would have had to come back to. So there was some sort of a cord that was cut. But the fawning helped you to essentially gain insight and intel while not letting people know like how aware you are and where you are on your journey. I don't know. This, this could be something that like somebody just like woke up out of to just like immediately one day. And it's, it's almost like it was divinely orchestrated. I feel like that's what I feel like. Yeah. It was divinely orchestrated for somebody to go into this phase to almost like, um, to, uh, to covert. I'm hearing covert, but, um, to, uh, to hide them in plain sight. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. Okay. So, oh my God. Oh, all right. I have to go feed cats and make myself a turkey sandwich. By the way, you guys, my favorite thing right now, have you, this is going to sound so great. Have, do you guys ever eat at Arby's? Okay. So I, their horsey sauce. I mean, it's like the second ingredient is high fructose corn syrup, but it's really yummy. You guys, I just bought some horsey sauce from Arby's. Do you guys ever eat there? I can't eat the sandwiches because I'm gluten free, but that sauce is so fucking good. My Polish ancestors and my Polish soul, it just loves it. Anyways. All right. Cats, love you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, and share too. It's helpful. And um, sending you guys lots of love. I hope that this helps anybody, all of you. Sending you lots of love. Until next time.